What is up, you two? Welcome. Oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it. Sorry. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the first episode of Debunked, the show where we take popular movies and TV shows and basically science the shit out of them. Today, I want to talk about the popular series, Game of Thrones, more specifically the season finale. Now, those of you who are fans of the show have probably seen it, where you see Theon and Sansa jump from the Wall of Winterfell. Now, that was a cool scene, but what I can't tell you is what's canon, but what I can tell you is mathematically, did Sansa survive? Well, let's look at it this way. According to A Song of Ice and Fire, the outer Winterfell wall is 80 feet, or 24.3 meters. Now, if someone were to jump from this wall, they would reach a velocity of 21.8 meters per second before they hit the ground. Well, I was able to get online, and I found out that Sophie Turner, aka Sansa Stark, weighs about 55 kilograms. I was also able to figure out her sexual orientation, bra size, shoe size, God, the internet is just a creepy, creepy place. So let's say the snow took half a second to slow her completely down. That would be an average acceleration of 43.74 meters per second squared. So using Newton's second law, that tells us that she hit the ground with a force of 2,405.7 newtons. So what does this mean exactly? Well, it's complicated. Different forces to different areas and different angles of the body can result in different kinds of fractures. Sometimes, the same force applied to a different bone will or won't cause a fracture depending on where you hit it. Different angles, different, you know, just anything is a factor here. A force of 3,300 newtons to the ribs has about a 25% chance of fracture. I mean, boxers all the time hit like 8,000 newtons, and that doesn't even cause fracture, so would really 2,000 newtons do anything? Honestly, not really. I mean, it could, depending on how you landed, on what bone it hit. Maybe it could break a toe, but honestly, would it do major damage? Probably not. So what's my official opinion here? Did Sansa survive? Drum roll, please. No? Nothing? Ah, here we go. Most likely. That's what I have to go with. I mean, she's probably fine. I mean, it is the Middle Ages where a small injury could be a death sentence, but I mean, really? Like, 2,000 Newtons? I really don't think it would do that much. I mean, it's possible she could have cut herself, she could have bruised herself, but it's hard to say. I mean, that's just purely speculation. Now, obviously, I can't tell you what's canon, but, you know, as I said before, but, you know, if that really happened mathematically, you'll be fine. Thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, please leave a comment of what you want us to do next, and we'll get right on it. So, random question of the week today is, who's your favorite superhero? Leave a comment of why, and basically what makes him your favorite. See you guys next time.